Kahin Shalawan, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Bashim Rukakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth with sincerity. So this is a this is one a quick hit concerning concerning Yolanda Adams. <laughs> you know, she's a she's a gospel singer. And this is what she says. She says, parents should give kids the freedom to develop their own spiritual path. And do understand this is a she's a Christian uh, a gospel singer who is actually uh, teaching her child to develop or is actually saying teaching children kids to develop their own spiritual path but what does the scripture say you know this this really shows you that these these modern-day Christians truly don't practice what is written in the scriptures man it says gospel music icon Yolanda Adams talks about a new show, Kingdom Business. Well, she is not about the business of our Most High. You know, what, what, what is, what is her, her kingdom where she is actually referring and talking about, man? It's here upon this earth in this present empire. It says it encourages parents, uh, parents to allow their children to develop their own version of faith, which... What she's actually saying is she's allowing and letting them go into Christianism, you know, modern day Christianism is what we're actually talking about, Christianity, uh, Islam, Mormonism, Hinduism, Buddhism, going in all type of ways instead of teaching your child to respect the ways of, uh, of the almighty power, the same power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's where it's about, man. Let me get a quick piece up about this, man. Just in a... Uh, the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, starting from the top. It says, And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. It was the Most High who delivered us out of the hand of Pharaoh when we were captive in Egypt. And he rose up a leader, Moses, to, to lead us out of, out of that captivity. It says, Thou should have no other gods before me. So if you believe, if you claim to say that you are a believer, because she had a, she had a, I believe she had a song. This is, a, Lord, I want to be a Christian. What does it mean to be a Christian? When you, when you say you want to be a Christian, it means that you want to be a follower of the Lord, of the Redeemer. You want to walk in the footsteps of the example that he left for us, which when you when you teach or when you try and educate and raise up children by saying let them find their own spiritual pair of faith you're not walking you're not walking in in the oracle you're not walking in the words of the most high you know first four thou should not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy power am a jealous power. So the Most High is a jealous power. If you would bow down unto these idols, the Most High would get angry. The same thing is when the Most High get angry when we bow down unto the golden calf, visiting the iniquity of their fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me and shewing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments so the most high is pleased when you obey and you listen to the father of spirits that is what the most high wants to see so the most high is actually a parenting raising us up in the way how we need to be and when you have obtained and you're walking in, in the way that is well pleasing unto the most high, you have to do the same thing unto your children. So let's just uh, just jump a little bit to it, jump in and go into the nitty gritty of this uh, of this article. Yeah. She says as as a mother, Adams talked about the importance of evolution related to the motherhood and cultivating a spiritual environment for her daughter to grow. I grew up in a household where God was cool already. Cool already. You know, when you go into the meaning of the word cool, 
you know, the, the understanding of using the word cool and linking it onto the Most High. It really, it really ties something um, without any form of discipline or without any form of reference. And she's going to say it in a, in, a, in a couple of next uh, sentences, how, what, what it really means to deem the Most High cool already. So I never had a tradition, dogma or stigma of it, uh, of it has to be like this or it doesn't work. Well, what does the Most High say? Let's get that. It's in the book of John 14. She tries to make it seem as if there are multiple ways of reading and, and leading towards pleasing the Most High entering into the kingdom as, as if there are multiple ve multiple ways multiple fates of pleasing the most high and entering into the kingdom being really deemed of being saved the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 yahweh shai said unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me so there's only one way of reaching the most high by going to the redeemer who they call jesus christ in ignorance we call his name yahweh shai he is the only way of reaching the Most High. And there are instructions given in what we need to do and how we need to do these things. Man, let's get, let me get a quick piece about that as well. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4. Yeah, Israel, Israel urged to obey the Most High's law. You got to respect the ways of the Most High, man. At all times. Starting from, uh, from the top. It says, Now therefore hearken, O Israel, the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and if you don't do them, you, you will be cursed, you will be plagued, and you will be destroyed. And go in and possess the land which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word I commend you, which I commended you, Neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord, your power, which I commend you. So you're not supposed to take away from the word, you're not supposed to add unto the word. When the Lord says, worship me only because I'm a jealous power, you're not supposed to bow down unto idols. It does not mean that you can teach your children. It does not mean that you can just teach your children in, 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 uh, in a way of, yeah, you can go and find your own spiritual path of faith that's not what the most i instructed our people to do going on let me jump to first uh first five it says behold i have taught you statutes and judgments even as the lord thy power commanded me that ye should do so in the land where you go to possess it so now you got our people living in America. I myself am living in the Netherlands, in Europe. The most I still wants us to walk in his commandments. We have to still obey, obey what he commanded us to do. It says, keep therefore and do them, do them, do what? Do the keeping of the commandments for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. When you walk in the ways of the most high, it is, it is reflecting the wisdom and the understanding uh, uh, of the most that where you're walking in it's it's truly you're walking in holiness you're walking in a separated way from the world it says which shall hear all these statues and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people so when they see you walking in the ways of the most high in the world that is completely contrary unto submitting and obeying unto the ways of the most High, they will say this is this is truly a great nation a wise and an understanding people for what nation is there so great who had the most as so nigh unto them? As the Lord our power, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that had statutes and judgments so righteous as all his laws which I set before you this day? Nobody has the most just laws. We we only have the most just laws. But just only take heed to thyself. And keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest thou depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord, thy power in Horeb. So all the things that the Most High did for us, 
you always have to remember you know that, that how can you how can you how can we ever repay the heavenly father for all his benefits it starts with the respect the reverence towards the most high the fear and the respect and the obedience unto unto what he commands us to do and to be diligent dedicated passionate in in doing and giving your whole heart unto the most high that is what we need to do continually it's especially the day that I stood us before the Lord at power in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. So that's where it's about. If you proclaim that you are a Christian or a gospel singer, which, which is a, a praiser in the fact of saying that you believe in the Most High, you have to teach your children as well so you can't you can't be in a, in a way of saying things like i grew up in a house where the most i was cool already so i never had that tradition dogma or stigma of it it has to be like this well it has to be like that there's only one way of reaching the most high if you don't go according to the instructions of the most high you will not make it you know it will not work it says the most high in our house was flexible well no no not in the scriptures man the Most High gives us clear instructions in what we need to do. Let's get that, man. The Most High gives us clear instructions. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is what we need to do. Young, old, you know, parents, children, they all need to be guided and instructed in doing the will of the Most High. So the Most High is not flexible, but the mind of people is getting into a spirit of becoming flexible. They don't, they don't walk in the ways how the Most High has written in the scriptures how they need to walk. They just make up their own thing which suits them and then, then they walk and then they act as if they, they serve in the Most High, but you're not serving the Most High. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth, and with the lips do honor me. Yes, yeah, she's singing, she's singing gospel songs, singing about praising the Lord, making it seem as if she respects and fears and reverence and truly loves the most high while in her actions she's just doing whatever she feels that is right. She's just doing whatever she wants to do while saying that she respects and loves the most high. But have removed the heart, which is the la'ab, the mind far from me and that fear towards me is told by the precept of man and that's what you see in her man if you would ask if you would ask this Yolanda Adams if she's keeping the commandments of the Most High she most likely will say no she will give you an answer yeah but the blood of the blood of Jesus has already cleansed me from all my sins I'm already saved so I don't have to keep the laws anymore that is what they will teach you that is what that is what they believe because they don't, they don't want to conform unto the ways of the Most High. They don't want to change into the conduct of the Redeemer. They just want to stay the same. They just want to portray themselves as if they, as if they respect the Most High. And they just want to earn money. You know, they just make money over being, being in a way of acting as if, as if they are in the ways of the Most High. What is the scripture saying? A Satan. Let me get that, man in the book of uh, first corinthians let me get it a second corinthians the book of second corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of the mashiach and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light therefore it is no great thing if his ministers, his servants, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Exactly, man. So if a, if a person is actually a hypocrite, not truly walking in the footsteps of the Redeemer, but yet, but yet declaring to be a gospel singer, a believer, a so-called Christian, a follower of, Lord, of the Lord, the Redeemer, but yet teaching your children or teaching children to to walk upon a path of, of finding out finding out their own their own spiritual path their own faith what is it that you stand for that you don't stand for the most high you don't stand for the heavenly father in the name of his beloved son 
you are not you are not a follower of the redeemer you just make up your own thing it says god in our house was flexible but the most high is not flexible the most high stays the most the scripture says the most high the same was the scripture uh the same today the same today yesterday and tomorrow where's that scripture let me get that man today yesterday and for and forever here in the book of hebrews 13 verse 8 Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. The Lord, the Lord is not changing, man. What the Most High commands us to do still stands. People are changing. People are making things up. People are adding and people are taking away out of the script. It says God in our house was total love. But then again, you can ask them, what is love? What is love according to the Most High? What is love according to the Bible? So the book of uh, the book of First John chapter five verse three, for this is the law of the Most High that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not grievous. So, again, you can ask her the question, and you already know the answer. They are not keeping the commandments, so she is not according to the law of the Most High. The law of and the understanding of her law is about accepting, uh, um, deeming being cute or being sweet or or saying that you like somebody giving somebody a hug that's that's their understanding of love while love is an action in the eyes of the most high love is the keeping of the commandments love is not love is not just talking about how how cute and how sweet you are and how sweet you deem somebody how kind you deem somebody that's not the love of the most high the book of first john chapter 3 verse 18 my little children and it, it shows you the most high is the father of spirit we upon this earth are his children the heavenly father gives us clear commandments in what to do and what not to do we need to listen and obey the heavenly father the same way the parents the father and the mother they need to guide their children in what they need to do you can't you can't raise up and tell your child like you go and you figure it out yourself where's the protection where's the guidance of the parents that you just leave off your duty as a parent as in parenting and raising your child man in this in this crazy world where you got so much confusion so much deception so much so much normalization of wickedness the whole the whole vibration of this earth is in the spirit of being and being the enemy onto the cross so how how can you how can you say something like you want to leave the children into their own road of finding out and figuring out what they what is their fate if you do something like that, you're leading them, you're pushing them into the way of destruction, man. It says, my children, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Let, let us love in the actions of, of, of performing love, is what the Most High says. Not by just talking about, yeah, I believe, I know him, or this is, I got him in my heart. The Most High ain't about that, man, you know? And then it goes on, she says, God in the house was total joy. I never looked at my faith as anything other than cool. Yeah, but that, that already displays it that there's there was never a, there was never a reverence, a respect towards the most high. She never she never respected the most high. This the, the, the saying that she says that in here, God in the house was total joy. Total joy. That's just that's just thinking that everything is just about pleasure, man. First John chapter five verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. She is she is already dead, man. She is not she is not in the congregation of of the living. She is in the congregation of the dead. She does not understand what it means to follow and to worship, and to respect, to reverence the Most High, to fear Him and to walk in His way. She does not understand, and she is not performing it. Proverbs 21 verse 16 The man that wandereth out of the way or the woman that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. She is, she is, in, a, she is in the way of lacking any form of understanding about the ways of the Most High. She just makes up her own thing. You know? And when you do, when you do those things, you're not serving the Most High but you're serving your own belly. 
the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 trust in the Lord with all thine heart give yourself over unto the ways of the most high and lean not unto thine own understanding and don't lean upon your own understanding of how things are supposed to be or what the most high is, is, is actually trying to explain and give over unto you you need to submit yourself unto the heavenly father's guidance unto his ways submit humble yourself is what the most high says in all thy ways acknowledge him in everything that you do you got to acknowledge the most high is this truly to this in the spirit of the most high let's go back to the to the header of of this <laughs> of this article man she says parents should give kids the freedom to develop their own spiritual path that's what she says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path so in everything that you do you need to be directed by the most high and because she is not submitting herself unto the most high she is not being guided on by the most high let me get a quick piece up about that man in the book of uh, the book of Sirach chapter 20 and that's a key thing one of the key things in this truth is being guided by the most high having the holy spirit dealing with you and guiding you in doing the thing that is well pleasing unto him you don't want to be in 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 a spirit in a mindset of thinking that you're pleasing the most high while you're being self-willed you're doing not what the heavenly father commands you to do that's a dangerous estate and many many of these many many of these modern day christians they're actually in that estate they believe that they serve and that they walk or that they please the most high while they're actually occupied in being willful uh, a disobedient unto the most high's instructions rebellious you know and and just ignorant and being in the congregation of the dead the book of uh, the book of sirach chapter 20 verse 32 necessary patience in seeking the lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide necessary patience the 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 time which is required in seeking the most high and obtaining the heavenly father's holy spirit you know drawing nigh unto the most high in in the right way is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide is better than is better than a yolanda who 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 is actually leading her life without truly being guided by the most high and because she is not being guided by the most high she is not going to guide her children in the ways of the most high She's doing things according to her own mind because that is how she is raised she grew up in in a house where they didn't respect the ways of the most high she grew up in a house of plantation christianity when plantation christianity is, is not teaching them to to walk in the commandments of the most high it's not teaching it's not teaching them the discipline in following the redeemer as a disciple modern day christianity is not teaching them that modern day christianity is teaching them that you're already cleansed by the blood of the redeemer you don't have to keep the commandments you're already safe that is what modern day christianity is teaching and then you can go on a sunday and you just clap and dance and you sing and you do all type of all type of buffoonery but yet you're not changed you're not you're not you're not cleansed you're not you didn't became a new person you're just the same person who's merely saying that you believe and walk and, and respect and love the most high it says be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil so those people don't depart from evil man they don't fear the lord they're just upon their own path of of thinking that the thing that they're doing is acceptable but it's not it is it is not acceptable in the eyes of the most high man i don't have to read to the whole article man just the, the the key thing is already already said man already already mentioned to the article i will put it in the comment section you can read it for yourself i want to jump to a couple of more scriptures to show you that this is this is one of the reasons why the most high is going to destroy many many of these parents many of these mothers but also many of these children are going to be destroyed man because they simply they are simply not being raised up in the way how the most high wants them to be it says in the book of sirach chapter 30 verse 8 a horse not broken become it headstrong a horse that is not being taught the discipline to listen to his rider is going to become headstrong that, that that horse is not going to listen man and the child left to himself shall will be willful if you leave a child on him or herself that child is going to become willful because a child needs guidance a child needs guidance man 
and if you don't guide the child the system is going to guide your child and your child will be guided into into the most ludicrous type of things on this earth man before you know it your child will come home believing that he is a he is a girl or that girl is a boy you know being guided being guided in 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 in, in the most the most craziest uh, doctrines you know uh, uh, all type of crazy religions which you have today upon this earth you might you might even find out that your child comes home and says that he or she is a satanist man so it says in the book of um, in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 22 verse 16 he that no this is not it is it in 15 so yeah 15 foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him foolishness is in the mind is actually in the mind of a child and the child needs guidance that's why the scripture says in verse 6 <coughs> train up a child you gotta you gotta train them up in the way that is well pleasing unto the most high train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it if you if you raise up your child in respecting and and having having respect first of all to the most high and towards you that is when you can that is when you can guide your child into the way that is well pleasing unto the most high you know but if you leave your child He's he is gonna go in or she is gonna go into ways which is gonna lead towards just 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 affliction. Your child will bring you uh, to shame. You know, it says, "Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee heaviness." If you if you entertain the foolishness that is actually bound in the mind of a child, if you pamper, if you if you get in a spirit of of, of spoiling your child. And being like you just go and go ahead and you figure it out i'm fine with everything that you choose or with everything that you do on this earth you're pushing your child into the way of destruction and confusion it says laugh not with him lest thou have sorrow with him and lest thou gnash thy thief in the end if you if you laugh and you entertain the foolish things that a child will do or the foolish the foolish ways the folly which the world will pull your child onto and you don't correct you don't you don't chastise because that's where it's about man let me hold this because we could be jumping a little bit we're going left to right precept upon precept to that precept we get understanding right so in the book of um uh here hebrews chapter 12 verse 7 if ye endure chastening the correction the discipline of the most high the heavenly father deal it with you as with sons uh, for what son is is he whom the father chasteneth not the heavenly father we are the children of the most high the father of spirits the most high is continually occupied with chastening correcting you know steering moving you uh, 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 improving you into the way how he wants you to be it says but if you be without chastisement but if you be without correction which this 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 mother this yolanda adams actually is doing towards her children She's actually letting her child go into into the into the world where you got a cesspool of all type of religions, all type of doctrines, all type of philosophies, and she's saying like, you can just go and find out whatever you feel or think that is right, but yet you yet, yet you're declaring that you are a follower a, a follower of the redeemer, which doesn't make any sense. It says, but be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers then are ye bastards and not sons they don't pertain unto the most high if you don't get the correction if you don't get the guidance you don't belong unto the most high because you don't get you don't get improvement the things that you do wrong in the eyes of the most high don't don't get the attention to be corrected or to change so you remain that's why i said you will remain in the congregation of the dead you're not with the most high the heavenly father is not showing you the ways of the most high you're not walking in the ways of the most high so you remain in the congregation of the dead while you think that you serve or while you while you convince others that you walking in the ways of the heavenly father it says furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which is the biological father you know the biological mother for example her her purpose is 
to look over the children, to keep to keep the house. You know, she she's at house. She's making sure that everything is stable and perfect and ordered and and decent, in decency and in order at home. Fulfilling her purpose at home, looking out for the children, bringing them to school, taking them from school. The parent, the father, the same thing. You know, and you're raising, you're raising your children in the way of the Most High. And what is the way of the Most High that which is giving unto us to the Scriptures, man? Which corrected us, your father, your mother corrected you. And we gave them reverence, you showed respect, the utmost respect towards your father, towards your mother. You listened to them, man. Eh? That, that, that is one of the first commandments, man. You know, where's the Scripture where it says... In the book of Ephesians 6. Let's get that man. Children obey your parents in the Lord for this sight. For this is right. Honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise. You got to respect your father. You got to respect your mother. You got to listen to them man. Don't raise your voice towards them. Don't cuss them out. Don't lay hands upon them. But listen and pay the respect towards them. Especially if they are in the truth and they're leading you and teaching you what you need to do according to the scriptures. If they lack understanding of the scriptures, you in respect show and explain unto them what the Bible says and how you how you need to walk in the ways of the most high and how they also need to respect the ways of the most high. But in everything that you do, you keep the respect towards them. Eh? It says that it may be well with thee and that thou mayest live long on the earth. You see? So that, that's, where it's, that's where it's about. It says, and ye fathers, because the father is the, the captain, the leader in, in the household, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up and nurture, nurture them with the word of the Most High. You feed them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You start with the milk and you're slowly building up and you, you're grooming them in how the Most High wants them to be. And admonishment of the Lord, the correction, the correction of Yahweh Bashim in the spirit. So it says, furthermore, we've had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Should we not rather more listen unto the Heavenly Father as we have been listening to our Father, our biological Father, as we had show respect and reverence to our Father and to our Mother? The scripture says, should we not more listen and accept and respect the ways of the Most High, the Heavenly Father? For they fairly for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure they did the things where they believed it was right and they've been doing the right thing especially if they knew that they were israelites but to the spirit you know the most time is gradually building and tweaking you showing you things some of some of the brothers have 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 uh the blessing of of growing up with parents that knew that they were israelites and, and they received it from a very young age some of us didn't receive those things from a very young age, but later they they, get, they came into this truth, man. The scripture does say, what is it in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, right? It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. We got to remember the heavenly father in the days of our youth. As, as the devil, Satan, is attacking our children on a very young age, you need to train them up. In respecting and understanding the ways of the Heavenly Father, letting them know that they are Israelites, letting them know who the enemy is, letting them letting them know what they can expect from the enemy, letting them know that they should not trust the enemy, letting them know about how to call upon the names of the Heavenly Father to to His beloved Son, teaching them to pray, teaching them how to how to defend themselves against the the evil upon this earth. That is a key thing in this in this in this in this walk in being in this wicked empire where Jesus is ruling, man. Knowing your power, knowing the connection with your power, knowing knowing how to defend yourself, building up the faith in the Most High, which is guiding them, letting them know that you being guided by the Most High, and you giving them the guidance in the way how they need to uh, receive it, in order to maintain strong in this wicked empire, man. It says, while the evil days come not, nor the, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Before, before all is going to unfold on a whole other level of, 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 of tribulation upon this earth, you already raise them up, you already train them 
for more hardship to come. For they fairly for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness, you see. If you want if you want to be saved from what is yet to come, you're gonna submit yourself onto his ways. You're not gonna come up with things like, yeah, but you know, I I I I think I feel that it's right for, for, for you to go into your own way. It says now no chastening of the present seem to be joyous, but grievous. Yeah, because when you go to the chastisement, the the, the 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 discipline, there are certain things that you cannot do by the hearings of doing those things, and which is being deemed or being propagated towards people as joyous. You you might you might go to things for which you might think like, you know, especially as a child, certain feast days, children children receiving presents like here in the Netherlands you have you have that that, that wicked race. That, that wicked demonic feast day which they call Santa Claus. A child on a very young age might not truly understand and might be at school and the, and you got children receiving presents and a child might feel excluded, you know? Those type of things might might not feel joyous when, when a child might be experiencing certain of those things, you know? Certain certain feast days, Christmas or whatever whatever type of things you're trying to pull your child your children into, and you're teaching your child that that does not pertain unto us. The ways of the world might might uh, 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 seduce your child, like how it says in the book of Prophets. Let me just quickly get that. The book of Prophets, chapter twelve, verse twenty-six. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduces them. So the ways of the wicked is continually occupied in enticing you in, in what is right or what feels right or don't you like this. While the child needs to be groomed and raised up and that needs to begin from a very young age. If you know that you're in Israel, you got a child, you raise up your child immediately in the understanding of the Most High. It says, now no chastening. For the present seem to be joyous, but grievous, the, the, the chastening, the, the correction, the discipline, it is, it is, it is the, hard, the hard way. You learn the hard way, but the end is going to be beautiful, man. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Yeah, because the end result is the beautiful shape of pearl, you know? Yahushai... Yahweh Shemir said, cast not thy pearls, cast not this holy, this word, this righteousness, this the most just ways of the most high. Don't give it unto them that are not worthy. When your child is going through the process, when you yourself are going through the process, you'll be you're being beautified by the most high. You know? And that's why you, you gotta you gotta you gotta love the whole process, man. It says verse 11 in Sirach, Sirach 30. Give him no liberty in his youth and wink not at his folly, which which goes completely contrary unto what she is saying. According to her, it is actually kids give the kids freedom. She wants to give them all the liberty to go in all type of, and may fall into all type of things. Because later on, she even mentioned like, let me see if I can find that piece, man. She said, you have to start with a foundation. Yeah, Yahweh Shai is the foundation. And, is the, and if the child is not being founded, let me get a quick precept about that. If the child is not being established on that foundation, Matthew chapter 7. Your child will winnow with all type of doctrines. Let me get a quick precept also over here. Ephesians. Ephesians 4. And for a couple of days this was not working and I clicked on this now it's working and the tools the tools were not working but when you clicked on Ephesians 4 verse 14 for example this was working it says that we henceforth be no more children because you you can you can convince a child of anything man you can convince a child that Satanism is the right thing well pleasing unto the most high and that and serving the heavenly father keeping his commandments in obedience that is the wrong thing you you can convince a child in anything that's why that's why it's it is a key it is key for for the ones that have children and we we are actually 
a father onto the fatherless by making these videos and protecting and guiding mothers that are actually alone with, with children or a father who might not have the knowledge of these scriptures. You protect your children. We are the protectors. Like how the Heavenly Father is a protector. You, you are, you are. Let me see if I can get a quick precept about that, man. Book of Matthew, chapter 5. It's a peacekeeper, man. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. We are the peacemakers, man. We we are restoring and keeping the peace between between um between the parents, which are also children, the children unto the Most High. The connection with the Most High and the parents, but also the children of the parents. The connection between them and the father and mother, the biological father and mother, and the connection as, as a child unto the heavenly father that 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 needs to be continually intact it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine because what she's actually saying is go out and let yourself go and figure out in which type of doctrine go along with wherever the wind is blowing and 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 give yourself over onto whatever doctrine you feel that is right it is a very dangerous thing to do by the slide of many you got very deceitful a tricky man upon this earth because the earth is giving into the hand of the wicked if you don't protect them if you don't guide them you allowing them to be destroyed and then you shouldn't be looking strange when when their mind is completely destroyed when there were other things that is completely corrupt lewd uh, uh, reflecting total confusion and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive yeah because the wicked is continually continually watching man Continually watching the scripture says be vigilant because the devil as a roaring lion is walking about seeking whom he may devour man So if you leave a child on him or her own you allowing you allowing the devil completely to destroy your child man But that's what that's what they need to teach man because the, these are the left-hand sacrifices Which she has to make you got to understand man a person being a gospel singer does not mean that that person truly respects the most high you're looking at a Kirk Franklin and all those, all those, those, those so-called uh, uh, gospel singers. They don't care about the Most High, man. They're not performing the, the the fear and the reverence and the keeping of the commandments of the Most High, man. These these are just entertainers who are using religion, who are using the belief in the Most High in a way to win uh, uh, to win their trust. That's 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 the 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 um. How you call it? That's their uh, uh, um, uh, their group, you know, their section of people who they who they aim at in exploiting them and receiving and earning money is the same thing. Is the same thing as a false pastor. A false pastor is just preaching and saying things which is not in line with the scriptures, and people are uh, people are bringing their tithes, their money, and this man, this man, this pastor is driving around in an expensive car. You know, living in a in a humongous, expensive mansion, it's the same thing when you have gospel singers. They're not walking in a way. You you look you look at the appearance of of this of this woman. Let me see, where is it, man? You look at the appearance of this woman, man. Just just a straight up, modernized, uh uh, uh um, R&B type of singer. You know. Not much difference from from the rest of those 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 singers that you see, uh, 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 which are actually witches, which you see in the music industry. But the only difference is she is portraying herself as if she is righteous. She is portraying herself as if she is respecting the Most High. She is being deceitful and tricking the Heavenly Father. Uh, uh, Heavenly Father is, is 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 people, man, and many many many. <coughs> Many girls, many women, they might fall for this. But we who understand truly what is taking place, we don't fall for this, man. We're going to tell you exactly how, how the Most High looks at this and what the Most High is going to do with people that, that are occupied in doing these things, man. Because this is a deceitful worker, man. The scripture says, let me get this, man. And I was not planning to make a long fit, so I'm about to wrap things up. Because scripture is now popping up into my mind. But this is what the scripture says, man. The book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse, um, verse 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Most High. 
Yahweh deceitfully and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. And she is a deceitful worker, man. She is not truly about this, man. She is about earning the Benjamins, singing songs which people might like when they hear, you know, giving them so-called feelings about everything is good, you know. You know, you, you can already imagine like victory and, oh God, is in my life and all, all type of, all type of folly, man. But what is what is truly what is truly being done? What is truly being done? The walk of rebellious man, rebelliousness, man, being just straight up disobedient unto the Most High. And the same thing. Let me get this man in the book of uh, Amos. Those songs, man, the Most High, and down with those songs, man. You just you just hear every time, man. Back in the days as well, man. When I when I saw these these these, the always the dark skinned woman. And most of them, most of them were simply overweight. In this case, she is not being, I believe she is not overweight, right? But in this case, she is not overweight, but most of them were just straight up overweight. And they just, they just excessively, you know, excessively like, like truly putting up, putting um, and, and faking it, man. Like truly faking it, singing in a way where which you think like, man, just stop it, man. You know, it all, it always felt cringe, you know? The book of uh, Amos chapter 5 verse, um, verse 23. It says, Take thou away from me and do understand, man. There is a way of serving and praising the Heavenly Father in righteousness sake. You know, you got you got you had the daughters of Zion singing and, 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 and you had singers, you had you had musician. But if it's not in the spirit of the most high, if you're not even calling the Heavenly Father by his name to his beloved son. Then you really, you really sense that it's not in the spirit, man. And it's even worse, man, when somebody is actually praising and, and they portray themselves as if they are respecting the ways of the Most High, man. You know? It says, the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. The Most High doesn't want to hear them singing, man. Because they are not walking in his ways. Why would the Heavenly Father want to hear you sing while you're not even respecting his ways? You're walking in the same spirit of ease or Edom. You, you, you're, you're using trickery, your wiles, in order to make money over people that are, that are just naive, gullible, you know? And then you portray yourself as if, you, if, as if you're teaching and walking in the ways of the Most High. As if you are entering into the straight gate while you're walking according to the white gate. It says, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So the way that they're walking upon is actually worldly, man. And it's going to lead to destruction. And many that be which go in thereat. Yeah, many, the whole world is in the way of the white. Is in the way of destruction. Is in the way of pleasing yourself. That self-glorification, feeding your own belly, making money, you know, exploiting people, people's... Uh, 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 hope and desire to believe and looking for a way out this this is what the, the wicked is doing man you know false pastors and all those gospel singers they're all doing the same thing man it says because straight is the gate the straight gate is the path of difficulty it requires discipline it requires em endurance in in reaching the end you know nobody said it that serving the heavenly father would be an easy thing but as you read to the article you see god god for her was always cool God is flexible. God, in, in her mind, God is like, you can just do whatever you want and He loves you. That, that, is, that is the God in, their mind, in her mind, you know? And says, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. And only, only a few, that's why the scripture says, many are called but few are chosen. Many, many of our people are going to hear this truth Many might even say that they believe in this truth, but only a few are truly walking in the way of the elect. Only a few are truly are truly the elect. It says, Beware false prophets which shall come into you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, false prophets, false pastors, teaching you things which is contrary unto the scriptures, making you believe that the Heavenly Father doesn't want you or doesn't 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 expect or, or, or you for you to keep the commandments of the most high because it's it's easy not to keep the commandments it's easier not to keep them trying to find loopholes 
that's the that's the spirit which many men have upon this earth man it says ye shall know them ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even so every good tree bring it forth good fruit the, their conduct the things that they do upon this earth that is your fruit your way of walking in the heavenly father's commandments so when you when you look at the footsteps of this woman her fruit is rotten it's carnal it's not it's not submitted unto the law of the most high <coughs> but a good but a corrupt tree bring it forth evil fruit and that's what you see with her it is it this is an example of evil fruit you you're teaching your you want to teach children to have freedom so that they can find out their own faith their own their own their own path of spiritual faith a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit those that are in the lord will bring forth the righteous fruit those who are not in the lord they will not bring forth the righteous fruit because they are simply not into the most high it says in the book of uh, let's jump to the book first uh, where is it 24 therefore yeah, the two foundations therefore whoso heareth these sayings of mine and do with them which is which is keeping it performing it i will liken him as a wise man which built this house upon the rock and who is that rock yahweh shai the redeemer he is at, he is at rock that's our foundation and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house which is actually a, a, a spiritual way of speaking about different type of doctrines different type of forms of adversity different types of ways of, of temptation you know trials and tribulation coming upon your path and beat it upon the house the house is the sanctuary the church of the most high the the mental and spiritual connection of those that truly serve the heavenly father in spirit and in truth and it fell not and it will not fall because this is established upon the lord the redeemer this house will stand forever this house will only wax stronger and stronger as we as we getting closer and closer unto the end when the lord is coming back to redeem us completely man because spiritually we are already connected with the most high you know merely in our flesh we are still we are still existing and and actually fighting against this wicked empire until the lord is coming to redeem us and to, to transform us man it says and it fell not for it was founded upon the rock it and yahweh shai is our foundation he is a sure foundation and everyone that hear these sayings of mine and do with them not a disobedient a lawless person a person who might convince you that you don't have to keep the commandments anymore shall be likened unto a foolish man or a woman which builded his house upon sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and, and it fell and great was the fall of it so it's not it's not founded on a sure foundation so it's it's going to fall it will be destroyed you know and that's the key thing in this truth the key thing in this truth is guidance believing in the lord believing in the lord but having the faith that the holy spirit the most high is guiding you in what you need to do guidance is a guidance is a geek um a key thing in this in this ministry man let me see where that scripture says it we'll jump to uh first eight good and upright is the lord jahawah therefore will he teach sinners in the way so the lord will teach sinners those who those who transgress his commandments in the ways of the most high the meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his ways all the paths of the lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his commandments as, as covenant which is his, his agreement and his testimonies this this is this is actually um one of one of the one of the key things in this ministry for us man being guided by the most high being steered being reproved being 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 continually edic edified that's what we need from the most high man <coughs> without it you you will you will be you will be destroyed man without it you will be self-built you know willful and ending up in uh, in total destruction man you know 
Hey, hey, that's why that's why the pray the prayer for protection guidance and pardon this is a very this is a very important a very important uh, chapter man this is what we need as we live as we are living and existing and boring and fighting to keep our crown we need protection guidance and pardon for for our sins the mistakes that we make towards the most high continually man and if you don't if you don't have these things Hey, you you're finished man you just you just it's over and that is actually what she is actually uh, uh, allowing to happen onto onto the children man but well, we ain't having it man so this is what I wanted to bring all praises to you how about Shimeo Shai but